what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more walking dead we're here at season three episode three today and man the last episode was a good one it gets better and better it gets better and better that's all i can say man um so we got a little you know a lot of the you know the plot hole that i kept talking about they clogged it a little bit in the last episode which was good you know, we got a better understanding of why Carl is upset with Lori. And she kind of, you know, trying to, to get through to him again. Um, so, it's good. It's good. So, I'm looking for their relationship to, to, you know, get, you know, better going forward. Going forward. So, you know, Carl still being a kid, you know, now... You guys are saying that Carl is a teenager, but he's real short for a teenager. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. I know you got, if you should put it into perspective, Carl is still really short. Because, I mean, everybody else is, like, super, super taller than him. So, that's why I'm still thinking, you know, maybe he's still really, he's still really young, maybe around 11, you know, 11, 12 years old. But... If he is a teenager in the show, then, you know, all is good. Because we, we know that um, Beth, uh, finally remember her name. We know that Beth is a teenager. So, all good is good. So, Herschel survived the chopping off of his leg. At one point, we thought he was going to turn into a walker. Almost scared the shit out of me. And then we have... Um, Carl almost putting a bullet in his head because of it. So, Urshel is good. Urshel is good. So, that's happy times. Now, what happened with the prisoners is a whole different story, right? You know, Rick had to go savage. <laughs> you know, savage mode on that um, dude that was clearly a murderer. He's clearly a murderer, right? He's just, he's, he's out of this world. You know what I'm saying? He's just... You know what he was hitting for. The way how he killed the black guy. No remorse. Guy that he's been, you know, you know, that he was sharing basically a space with for, for all this time. You know, almost a year. You know, almost a year. They were down there. Like, what was it? Like 200 and something days. They were down there. And he just killed them. He got, a, he, he got bit. And they just, he just went in on him. And even when the guy was dead, he was still, like, pounding on him, which was just, you know. So they had this plan, right? And him and the other black dude, yeah, they had this plan. No, even the short black dude had this plan that they were going to take over somehow. And they were going to try to, you know, maybe get rid of Rick. Um, cause the, he, you know, he's clearly the leader, get rid of the leader, but they don't know our boy Daryl is always on point. He's ready. Anytime you want it, you could get it. <laughs> so that's, um, so I'm glad that Daryl is like, you know, Rick's right hand man at this point. I think he, he's a better fit for that role, you know, so Definitely, definitely looking forward to things happening. We have this, per somebody was peeping on Carol out there while she was practicing. She's trying to practice um, how to do a C-section on one of the walkers that she killed. Um, and somebody was peeping through the bushes on her. No, it's not a walker because walkers don't peep. They don't peep. And they would have never showed from a walker's perspective. The, the, the thing peeped around the bushes and then it went back behind the bushes. There has to be a person that's that notices what's going on or something. I'm wondering if it's and Andrea and whatever her name is. I can't remember her name. You guys type it in the comment section all the time. I think that's the person y'all are talking about. Um, but you guys said that's one of your favorite characters. I've yet to see anything really from her other than the fact that she's walking around with two um, walkers like they're slaves on chains and she used them to carry her weight <laughs> and everything so pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff um but i've yet to see anything that would make her 
you know, one of my favorite characters. But you guys are hyping her up. You better do some crazy stuff. Anyways, I'm hoping that it's them and they don't recognize Carol yet. And they're, you know, they're gonna, and Andrea is gonna be back with the group. That would be cool. Um, so, yeah, man. So that's basically all I have to say for my intro. Um, reviewing what happened last episode. Um, so make sure you hit that like button before you go watch the episode, okay? Um, also, guys, I really do want you guys to come back and watch my reviews. Um, as I said, man, watch time and click through rate is what matters on YouTube. And if I'm taking you guys off of you off of YouTube, YouTube is not gonna recommend me. So it's so it's like if you come back and you watch my reviews, or you can leave it running while you go and watch it if you don't want to come back and watch the reviews but i really do want you guys to do that but at the same time i know you know you might not want to come back and see my review you just want to see my reaction so but i do want you guys to come back so i said let's leave it in the background running just let it run out so my watch time could stay up so the longer people stay and watch youtube those are the videos they will promote more because the people who are interested in your content are staying on your channel longer. They're staying on YouTube longer. So that's what YouTube wants to do. Stay People to stay on their platform longer. So that's what they want to do. Okay. So thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys for the review. All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the review of season three episode three that was pretty cool man it's a cool episode um don't see our regular dudes in this episode got basically introduced to a new new set of survivors out there uh taking in andrea and i'm gonna say it's michonne i think that's our micone micone or micone Mc Michonne, okay but yeah man pretty cool stuff taking them in you know pretending to be one thing when they as I was just saying it's too good to be true there's got to be some underhanded thing going on um I'm also wondering if they're the ones that shot maybe sh it doesn't seem like the helicopter got shot down though did it seem like it get shot down I don't think it was shot down. I'm a, I'm gonna say it wasn't shot down because it doesn't seem like that. Because we did see that opening scene, it doesn't seem like they were being shot at. This seemed like there was a malfunction. They blew an engine. Some something happened, and the helicopter fell out of the sky. Um. So that's how they came across Andrea and Michonne. So it. it the way how they filmed this episode was brilliant because they have a community over there. They're they're as I said, they're living it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they they just you know, carrying on with regular life. They haven't they said they haven't lost anyone in a while. Um, on the inside. Um, but Michonne is super suspicious of these people. Because it just seems too good to be true. But, you know, Andrea, she's so... I don't want to say she's naive. But she... Maybe she got used to the sense of being with a group so bad. And she hasn't been with a group for a long time. That she, she would rather give them the benefit of the doubt of what's going on. Now, we the audience know what's going on. Right? They they basically went out there, looked for these soldiers, killed the soldiers. Um kill the soldiers and took their stuff so if that's how i mean i don't understand you know they make themselves out the governor you know make himself out to be this savior of mankind and then you go out there and do something like this it's very surprising um so i don't expect i don't even know what to ex what to expect and what not to expect at this moment because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even know if they're going to get out al alive at this point. <laughs> I don't even know if they're going to get out of there alive. I think they're probably going to have to end up sneaking. They're probably going to want to leave and they're not going to allow them to leave. 
or something of the sort you know what i'm saying um they're not really a threat you know what i'm saying and with merle in the picture why are they trying to force merle to get more information they're trying to find out where rick and them is so they can go probably kill them and scavenge scavenge them too maybe that's what they're trying to do but who knows who knows I know I don't know, <laughs> okay, but it's just pure speculation, um, so I guess it wasn't them that was, that was spying on Carol over by, back by the prison, so we don't know how far they are away from this faction right now, so I don't know how far Rick is from them, they, they could be close, you know, they could be right down the street for all we know, you know what I'm saying, um, so, I'm looking forward to the next episode, of course, as I said, this episode was really, it wasn't anything too deep or anything, it was new characters being introduced with their shadiness that they're going on, and it's so obvious that there's a lot of people there that don't agree with what they're doing, especially the doctor, I don't think he's agreeing with a lot of stuff they're doing, but he's trying to to study the the walkers to find out what's really happening, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen on that side. So we got, you know, more of a double storyline going on now, which is something that a lot of TV shows do. They introduce new things so you can follow more than one storyline during watching the show because, you know, until these worlds collide, we, you know, it's good to have that because this whole episode was just about them and finding out about how they operate, what are they doing right, what are they doing wrong. And that's cool. That's good writing. So thank you guys so much for watching as always, man. Hopefully you guys will tune in for the next episode. So hit that like button. Let me know what you think of this episode in the comment section. And also subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.